Hey y'all, I'm Rachel, owner and artist at Stella Rose Boutique here in Greenville, Tennessee. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button for me. And if you're not, welcome back friends and family. I have been really sick these last few weeks and I keep getting sicker and they're not quite sure why. But um, I've been trying to get the IOD giveaway part of the video out. My goal was to have it out about three weeks ago but I have just been really sick and a bunch of stuff's going on with the family, so it's taken a lot to get this out. And so I wanna apologize for the time frame, but this is also my mushroom collaboration that I've also enjoyed being part of. Um, I've got uh, a bunch of stuff that's happened. We've got my one son broke his hand and we're hoping he heals. It looks like he is, so he's not gonna have to have uh, pins and screws put in his hand, so he'll have use of it for the rest of his life. And then uh, my foster son was in the top five on a manifesto to be killed at our school, at the high school, and then my daughter had an active shooter at the MSU campus. She wasn't on campus at the time, but she was supposed to be. And I can't even discuss it because I get too upset about the whole situation. Anyhow, this is why it's not uh, been done sooner. So I please hope that you understand that um, we've had a lot going on. Anyhow, so this is the mushroom collaboration. And at the end of this video, I will have the winner of the IOG giveaway. Thank you guys so much. Let's start with my first project. Hosts for this collaboration is Jesse from Urban Legend Antiques, Robin's Buys and DIYs, and Crafting with Indiana Jones. I wanted to make some mushrooms, but not use normal decor um, to make them. So I wanted to be creative with stuff that I already had. We did just come out with a brand new Iron Orchid Designs Toadstools mold, which is really cool, and it's got a lot of different mushrooms and designs on it, but I wanted to use one of our old molds, so I used one of our Rosettes molds, and I decided I was gonna take some knobs that I had removed off of a dresser that I've not reused, and take some of the Rosette tops and put them on the tops of these knobs. You see me here cutting off the excess on the sides of these rosette molds. After I was done making sure that the rosettes fit on the top of the knobs, I wanted to use the morel molds that is in the toadstool mold. I love having the micro rim edge. It makes it so easy to push the clay out and have a great smooth back on all the surfaces for all of the molds. I then went and glued with my Type Bond 2 the tops of the rosettes to the section of the knobs that I was using. While that was drying, I went and sanded off the raised part of the words on a piece of wood that I was going to be repurposing for this sign. On the bottoms of all of the mushrooms here, I used Vintage Linen by DIY. On the little sign here, I am using a combination of two colors, vintage linen and prairie gray. I mixed it so I had like a light mushroom color. And then I went back along the sides with prairie gray. After I was done going around the edges of the sign with prairie gray, I got out my layered chocolate color from DIY and I went and colored the morels in so the back sides and the underside of it was that dark brown color. You see me here putting a clear coat of Big Top on all the bottoms that are colored in vintage linen. And here I am using Marquee from DIY to make the top of this. It's gonna be a pencil holder that is shaped like a mushroom. And here's the morels that I'm painting with the top of them for the light colors so you can see them in the outlines with faded burlap. I'm also using the faded burlap for the tops of one of the knobs for the mushrooms. I also went in and painted one of the other tops with prairie gray and fancy farm girl with one of the greens. Once I was done painting the tops of all of the different mushrooms that I was creating, 
I went back and put a clear coat of Big Top on everything between all of the layers. And then I went back and put the little dots on them. Here I'm using wooden bowls and I'm going to be turning them upside down for the mushrooms on top of the little candlestick holders that I have. I'm using the faded burlap and the fancy farm girl green and the vintage linen on the undersides of these mushrooms. And then I again clear coated everything, especially the red and the whites before it was colored with because I didn't want anything to bleed and make it pink. So I covered it with big top here. I am placing the morel mushrooms on the little square hanger that I'm repurposing. And then I'm using some messy moss and gluing that to the bottom side of where the mushrooms would come out of in the normal natural world. You see me here after the big top has dried, I have gone in and put the little dots and the speckles on the mushrooms with the vintage linen. I'm now painting the exterior of the bowls. This here is prairie gray. And once I've painted the exterior of all the bowls, I go in with big top and I make sure that they're sealed really well before I put the little speckles back on the outside so that they don't bleed together. Because DIY paint is so heavily pigmented and it's clay based, it is reactivated again with water or moisture from another product. So I didn't want to make the little dots pink from it being red. And here you see me covering them with Big Top so that each little one is sealed. I'm using E6000 here on each one of the little candlestick ends and I am putting it into the mushrooms. Here they are, all completed. This really different shaped container for 29 cents, my birth mother found and bought it and it works perfectly for a mushroom container to hold your pens and pencils. Here's all the final decor that I used for bowls and to repurpose little candlestick holders. And here's an adorable little mushroom tumbler that we have available in my shop. Here's the IOD spinner, let's see who wins. Mary Ann Smith, contact me and you can pick out some IOD. All the paint and products used in today's video you can find at StellaRoseMercantile.co or in our shop at 524 Justice Drive in Greenville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!